What's up, K Block? And welcome to the block. If you're new to my channel, it's your girl, Ikea Caitlin. And as you can tell from the title, I am here to talk about ways to build your credit in college. I am so sorry. Y'all have to excuse my hairstyle. I'm looking like a little kid today. I gotta get my hair done. But anyhow, I did want to talk about ways that you can boost your credit score and just ways to start, you know, those beginning steps of building your credit while you're in college specifically. But um, some of these steps apply for people who are not in college and people who are just trying to build their credit in general. So um, before we get into the video, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. That way you know every time I post a new video. I've been dropping them for consistently for a few days now, so hope you guys are tuning in. <laughs> so, number one, the number one thing that I want to say is that if you're in college and you don't have credit, open up a credit card line. Now, with opening up a credit card line, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right credit card for you specifically. Um, you don't want to just get a random credit card and call that like first step. So um, for me personally, um, this is my opinion, I would recommend getting like a credit card that's tailored to students. And the number one that I, number one credit card that I recommend is the Discover student card. So I actually have the Discover student card and that's what I actually, that was my first credit card that I opened up in my own name and I rec I highly recommend that because one with the Discover student credit card um, you're able to get rewarded for good grades um, they have a good cash back program and um, it's very manageable and easy they start you off with a low credit line and then as you gradually make payments and just have some get some credit history built up they you will start to increase your credit line so um the discover student credit card is definitely one that i would recommend personally um i love that i actually got referred by a friend to get that card and both of us got 50 dollars. and that is one of the greatest things that they do um actually i'm gonna put the link in my description box so that if you guys are interested in signing up for a card, you will get $50 once you make your first purchase on that card. And I was so happy to receive that $50. That's free money, y'all. So make sure y'all click the link if you guys are interested in a Discover Student card. Now, there are other cards that um, I might recommend. Like, if you're not good with just having a card where you can buy anything, you can purchase anything... Um, maybe start with a store card, maybe a store that you shop at a lot. Um, it could be like, I know a lot of girls go to like Victoria's Secret and they have a Victoria's Secret credit card. Me personally, I don't recommend um, a card that's going to put you in a position where you're always going to want to put money on it and always overspend, which I will talk about a little bit later. So, when you get a credit card... Use it for small purchases only. Do not just try to just throw on big order items, big ticket items, and pay them down. The goal is to put small things on the card that you can easily pay off. So, I would recommend using a credit card for gas and groceries. So during my college career, I'm actually two weeks out, well, one week out now from graduating from college. So yay me. So I used my card throughout college for gas majority of the time because in school you don't really, I mean, you don't really just need to be spending a lot of extra money on extra stuff. You're a student. You don't need to be getting the latest, greatest outfit shoes and clothes even though that's what a lot of people do but I was more interested in saving my money and building credit so I used it for gas and groceries is another small ticket item if you like you're living in an apartment like I have been for the last two years um getting groceries and then paying that off so with those small ticket items here is another 
tip that I have, which is try to pay your balance off every month. So if you put, say you have, you spend $100 a month on both gas and groceries, which that's very, um, I don't know if you're spending only $100 a month, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But if you're spending $100 a month on gas and groceries, try to pay off your balance every month. That will definitely boost your credit score. It's continuously using that card, but then continuously paying it off. That way, if there are any interest charges on your card, um, you're not getting charged interest, a bunch of interest on um whatever is put whatever money is put on that card so pay it off if you can now on the same note another tip i have that if you have to put bigger purchases on there or if you can't pay off your credit card all the way down every month i would recommend keeping your credit limit under the 30 percent mark so if you have a $500 credit card, you want to only only spend under the 30% mark. So, let's do some math. Let me get my phone out. Should have did this before, but we're going to do it together. So, let's type in calculator 500 times 0.3. That's $150. So, you only want to kind of give yourself that cap. If your limit is $500, try to cap yourself at that $150 or under mark. And always try to keep your balance under that 30% mark. That way, you are showing the credit lenders and the people who um, make these credit scores that you can handle not putting a lot of money on a credit card. And it also shows your responsibility in being able to pay it off. That 30%, I cannot stress it enough. Um, I think if you guys go download Credit Karma, that is one of the tips that they will give you. Um, that's a whole nother tip. I recommend that you get Credit Karma. And um, even though some credit pools may be different, show different numbers, Credit Karma is a great place to start and to keep track of your credit score. It also is great with giving tips on how to keep managing your credit throughout college. So... Get Credit Karma download if you don't already and make sure that you are checking it often, especially once you get a card. It's exciting to kind of see your credit, see what your credit is like standalone if you think you don't have credit or whatever it is the case is. And then being able to make these steps and see your credit grow. It's really a fun process to watch because it's like, hey, I'm transitioning from being in college, a student, to kind of adulthood. Because I feel like college is kind of that cushion, that gray area between I'm still in school, so I don't have a lot of bills and a lot of big ticket purchases to worry about, like a car and a house. And then when you get out of school, it's like, okay, well, now I'm ready to start moving towards those bigger items. So... That is another reason why you need to have credit in order to be able to finance a car or get a mortgage on a house or um, maybe you want to buy a nice camera. I don't know. <laughs> and getting good interest rates play factors into having a great credit score. So download Credit Karma, guys. Get a credit card. Um, let's see if there's anything. Um, oh. Oh. Make sure, I mean, this might be obvious, but make sure that you're paying your bills on time. Do not let it go a couple of days. If you need to put yourself on a scheduled payment so that it comes out of your account every month, do that. But don't forget to pay because that hurts your credit score when you don't pay your credit cards and your credit lines on time. And if I had a final closing tip, it would be to specifically for college students when you're taking out student loans that counts as credit and when you are taking out loans on things that you don't need you are going to make yourself just be in more debt in the long run so only take out loans that you need to pay for the things that are essential for college 
in your necessities. So if you have a job and you are making plenty of money to sustain yourself for housing, for food, for books, do not just go take out a loan just because it's easy to as a college student because you're going to have to pay that back. And then the more debt that you have, once you have to start paying that back after college, you're going to be struggling a little bit. No one wants to be in debt their whole life. No one wants to. I mean, if you want to be in debt your whole life, I guess, go ahead, have at it. But I don't want to be in debt my whole life. So I was making, I was very strategically only taking out the loans that I needed to pay for my tuition and the essential things that I did not have money for in college. So, um, once again, I hope that this video helped you in some sort of way um, with getting started on your credit and starting a credit line. Once again, if you want to have a Discover Student card, I will put my link in the description. You just sign up and if you do get approved for that card, you will get $50 off your first purchase. Um, well, $50 once you purchase something on the card. So like you can liter literally, um, you can literally buy so a oh, buy a wig honey buy a wig or something and then you're gonna get credited fifty dollars on your account and that's free money right there guys so if you want to do that make sure that you click click the link in the description box um also if you have any further questions make sure that you guys are following me on my social medias which are ikea caitlin and if you have questions, DM me. I'll be happy to answer. Or if you have questions, drop them in the comment section and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I hope that you guys are having a lovely, lovely day. And I will see you guys very soon. Peace.